Okay, open up your train project and um, go to the assembly tab. We are going to make the exploded view and parts list um, drawing file with this video. So first thing we're going to do is um, the exploded view. So if you look over here, you have uh, the bomb table. I don't actually know what that stands for, but we'll, we're going to use that and then um, exploded views. So uh, we want to do the exploded view and we want to add exploded view. I'm gonna make my window a little bigger here. Okay, so you're gonna start out by clicking on parts that we want to move and we're literally going to explode this. So I'm gonna start with the linkage, the linkage pegs and click both of those and then we can drag them you know in any of these directions I'm just gonna drag them straight out I'm gonna drag them farther away we can keep probably want these pretty far away because uh, then we're gonna drag out the rest of these so once you have them where you want uh, click the check mark and then we're going to do the linkage arm And then we're going to do the axle pegs. And then we're going to do the wheels. And then the cow catcher. And then the smokestack. Don't forget about the hitch peg. Oops, shoot. Try that again. Okay. And then we're gonna go and do all of this with the other side. So linkage pegs, linkage arm, axle pegs, and the wheels. Okay. All right, awesome. I'm pretty happy with how mine looks. And then we are going to go to the bomb table. And so this tab right here, and we're going to name, give a name to these part numbers here. So item one, so when we go, we're going to balloon these parts, kind of if you've ever looked at printed instructions for something, you know, normally this is what you would see on the front page is your parts list. So you can check to make sure you've been given everything that you need to put it together. Um, so we're going to uh, put balloons to these. And so this would be the first balloon and it's saying that there's one of them. And what we wanna do then is give it a more specific name in the table here. And when you click on these, um, even if you just hover over them, it kind of outlines that item in orange. So you can see like item one, if you look at my, um, my picture here, when I hover over it, it's the train body smokestack and it basically just numbers these in the order that you make them. So my first thing is the um, train engine body. And my second item is the smokestack. So you're just going to go through and name these. 
So these are the reels. Cow catcher. And yours probably are in a different order. I kind of made these in a weird order. So don't follow the order I am doing them in. Um, Cause you get points for making sure you name these correctly. And then we're gonna delete the description column I think typically in this you would maybe put like um, like what the part is made out of or something like that, but we're just going to remove that. Okay. So we are, whoops, done editing the exploded view. Okay, so you should have still that, and I forgot to click done up there, so do that if you didn't, and we sh you should have your list here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, create a drawing of assembly one. Just going to do the no views, but you, you could do the front, top, and right and isometric, and it would automatically put those in there for you. Okay, and so we want our isometric view. We want the exploded view. We want it to be a little bigger. Oop, okay. It's so probably one to two is the biggest we can do. And then go ahead and just click to put it in your drawing. And then right click, we want this to be shaded. And I think we want to insert the bomb. Oh, I think this stands for like bill, billing of materials or something like that. Anyways, I want to put this up here. So try to put your list somewhere where it's not going to overlap with your drawing. And so now we want to do this call out where we're going to balloon the parts. And we only want to balloon each part like one time. So I, there's four linkage pegs. I only want to do one linkage peg. And it doesn't matter what order you do this in, but you just click and put the balloon somewhere. I don't necessarily care where, but see, like, so now when I do this, um, when I look at number seven here and then I look in your table at number seven, it should match. And like five is a, the linkage arm, five is a linkage arm. It says there's two of those. Okay, and now when I do the axle peg, um, that's nine, and axle peg, all right, and then the wheel, and then the cow catcher, and then the body, the smokestack, the hitch peg, and the hitch magnet. Okay. Um, so I don't, I only want one of these. I don't, you, I would, you would lose partial credit if you did like all the wheels. That just is going to make it. I don't even know if it really will let us do things multiple times, possibly. Um, Mr. Herman keeps messaging. <laughs> um, 
And that's all you need to do for this. So you just uh, finish and take a screenshot of this. And that is your exploded view and parts list and then put it in your PowerPoint.